Hello Capricorn, this is Renee and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to do a Capricorn love reading. Uh, Capricorn, we're going to see what your current feelings are in love. Um, we're going to see what's coming up for you. And we're also going to see how open you are to receiving love what challenges you may face. And then we're gonna give some advice. Now we're gonna start with some oracle cards and then move into the tarot. Okay, what do we have for Capricorn for January? First through the 15th. What do we have for Capricorn? Oh. We have healing energy. Yeah, so I feel like maybe you're ending off the year with something that's pulling you into some kind of a healing state, Capricorn. You're healing from some kind of situation. And we have guardian angel. So Capricorn, you're being protected. You're being protected as you go through this healing. You also have opportunity and change. So I think with this new year, Capricorn, you're going to see a lot of changes. You're going to have a lot of growth. There are changes that are going to happen that will bring your focus back to where it needs to be. Okay, just one moment. Okay, Capricorn, let's take a look and see what the Tarot has to say. What do we have for Capricorn in love for January 1st through the 15th? What's going on with Capricorn? Okay, we have the Six of Pentacles. We have the Seven of Cups. Okay. The Ten of Wands. <clears throat> the Seven of Swords. And we have the Two of... The Two of Cups. I have to say, Capricorn, um, <clears throat> these readings for the new year for In Love have been very challenging for every one of the signs, basically. Seven in Pentacles. We have the Knight of Wands. We have the Nine of Okay, so you have the Nine of Wands right under the Ten of Wands. Wow, okay. <clears throat> and you have the Eight of Pentacles. And we have the Hermit. Okay, the your energy at the bottom, Capricorn, is the High Priestess. So I feel like... You know what, Capricorn, I feel like you have a lot of hope in this situation. Um, I feel like you are really struggling to trust yourself and other people. Um, I feel like you're kind of doubting the decisions that you're making. You're doubting um, that you are... 
if you're in a relationship you're doubting that this is the right person for you if you're single you're doubting if there's anyone out there who will take care of your heart you know um i feel like you're kind of struggling emotionally when it comes to love um, and you may not be struggling in any other area of your life, but I feel like when it comes to love, it's like, man, you, you want someone to give you the same amount of energy that you're putting into this situation. And I feel like you're, you're almost ready to turn your back on looking for someone who will give you the same amount of energy. I feel like you are, maybe you're dating, um, but I feel like there's not really one special person in your life at this moment. Um, I feel like you're caught up in your head on what the future in love will, will bring. But as I'm focusing on these cups, I think there's someone that's going to come towards you. It's going to be, it, it's possibly someone that you've never met. It's someone brand new. Because I feel like this person is just going to come by surprise. It's going to be very unintentional. It's going to be coincidental. You're going to meet this person by just happenstance, you know? But as I'm looking at these cups, I'm really drawn to the image that's under the veil. This image is like a surprise, like a blessing in disguise, like you know, something that you are not expecting, but it's a gift. You hear what I'm saying? I I really feel like this person is going to come towards you. And it's going to be your constant focus. Hmm. Let's get into some more. <clears throat> okay, Capricorn. You know what? I, I really feel like you're ready to throw in the towel. You're ready to throw in the towel. You're ready to just do you. You feel like it's not even worth the effort of looking for love. You feel like just running away, just being by yourself, just focusing on Capricorn. In a way, I mean, I can see what you, what you're dealing with Capricorn because I feel like you're just laying down your burdens you're just like it is what it is I'm just done um, I just want to leave the situation take whatever I have with me and just go focus on me focus on Capricorn this year the focus is on Capricorn I'm doing me you know that that's how I feel that you're kind of thinking at the moment you're focusing on you um, you're focusing on your friendships on your acquaintances on your families with this two of cups but like I said, I do feel like there's someone coming in. There's someone coming in that you least expect, Capricorn. 
this is going to happen by chance. You're going to maybe go to a certain situation or go to a destination that, you know, is very kind of unintentional. Like you're driving down the street and you're like, okay, I need to stop in this coffee shop. I've never stopped in this co coffee shop before. I need a coffee. You know, let's get it on. You know, you know what I'm saying? But I feel like you're you're doing something for the first time and this is leading you to this person by just chance, by coincidence, by you know, happenstance. It's like fate, destiny that you arrive at this place and meet this person. Very interesting, Capricorn. Okay. Um, now, once this comes through, I feel like I feel like it gives you a little bit more faith to move forward. I, I feel like, you know, you're starting out this year very kind of straightforward. I'm doing me. I'm doing this. You know, I'm, I'm just going to focus on myself, better myself. I'm going to just make my coin. I'm going to focus on work, focus on taking care of the priorities that I have. And then, boom, this person is coming in. And you're like, your focus is like, wow, it's straight on this person. You're moving forward. You want to make plans. You, you want to get to know this person, every detail. You're like a kid in a candy store. What can I get next? What can I get next? You know what I'm <laughs> I'm sorry, Capricorn. That's, that's just the feeling that I'm getting from these cards. But I, I, I just see you, I see you regaining new hope. It's putting a new drive into your new year. And I, I do believe that this is going to happen very soon. I do believe you're going to meet this person very soon. This person is coming through, I, I believe, in, in January definitely in January because it's putting your focus it's giving you a renewed hope a renewed focus a renewed you know drive to really keep you uplifted Because by the at the beginning of the reading, yeah, you are in this healing mode. You're you're in this healing mode currently, um, but you're being protected. Your angels are watching over you. Your angels are guiding you, and like I said, you're gonna have opportunity and change. And I believe that change is gonna come very quickly. The opportunity to meet your person is going to come in very quickly. It's going to happen by chance. You're going to, you know, not be expecting this at all. You are totally focused on yourself, on your, you know, on your lifestyle, on, you know, getting what you need out of life. And boom, here this person comes. And it kind of changes everything. Now you have a new focus. You have a new you know, drive a new, a new plan for the future. And that's how I'm feeling. I'm feeling like you are, you know, you're willing to stay in the game because this person is like giving you new hope. You're feeling renewed in this situation. This person is bringing you so much excitement so much happiness at the moment so if you're feeling low right now Capricorn hang in there it's coming it's coming and I, I feel like you know Capricorn 
With the year 2022, I feel like you've been through a lot. You've been through a lot of struggles, a lot of conflicts. There's been drama. Um, but I feel like you've grown. You've grown a lot in this situation. You kind of know what to expect, know what signs to look for um, when someone's coming to you and they're, you know, they don't have good intentions. They mean you no good, you know. Um, but I, I feel like you are, you're focused on your healing. You're focused on your star, you know. You're focused on gaining your insight, being enlightened by your wisdom, just growing. And I feel like, Capricorn, you've grown a lot through 2022. You've been through so many situations to where you have endured. You've endured. You've overcome the challenges. You've overcome the obstacles. So I really feel at the moment your, your challenge your challenge is to be open and keep your eyes wide open for this situation to unfold. I believe that's your challenge. Your challenge is to have an inner knowing. That's your challenge. To have an inner knowing. To see the unexpected. To notice. Be aware of your surroundings. Be aware of opportunities that can bring wonderful change into your life. That's your challenge. Okay. Capricorn, uh, how can we get through Capricorn's challenges? How can we get through Capricorn's challenges? Okay. We have the Ten of Swords and the Wheel of Fortune. Definitely. Definitely. Stop dwelling on the past. Move forward into this change. Let go of your past feelings and be open to the new opportunities. That is your challenge, to let go and release of these things so that this change will actually be possible. This good fortune, this, you know, new opportunity for the new year, this will be all possible by going through that change, by letting things go. Releasing all the negative energy, releasing all the past, you know, go, definitely going through your healing energy. You already know this, Capricorn. I feel like you know it. You're working on it. You're in this healing energy right now. You're being guarded. You are being protected while you heal. What advice do we have for Capricorn? What advice do we have for Capricorn? <laughs> okay, we have the Page of Cups. So, yeah, I feel like it's being open in the moon. You're being open to the new secrets that are coming. Being open to this new path of discovery. And look what you've got on the bottom, Capricorn. The sun. Being open. That's your advice. Being open. Being willing to take a chance. This person that you see, this unexpected person, they may approach you. They may approach you.
but someone is approaching you with this page of cups and the moon someone wants to tell you their secrets someone wants to expose you know their self to you this is also a card of change you have so much change in this reading and look at this Capricorn what you have to look forward to a lot of happiness abundance look she's taking care of children as she's doing this so I feel like this situation that is so unexpected could actually be a situation that is life changing Very interesting, Capricorn. Beautiful reading, though. I'm really liking this. Yeah, you also have the King of Cups and the Judgment. Definitely. Okay. So definitely, Capricorn, if you're single at the moment, you're not going to be single for long. Someone is coming through. Someone is coming to steal your heart. Open you up to the new possibilities and new opportunities of new feelings, new growth. Like I said, this could be life changing because, you know, happiness is what you don't expect. Happiness is the good stuff that you're going to get by going through these challenges and advice, you know. By going through these opportunities of change. That is the, the good stuff at the end. Yeah. Here we Definitely Capricorn. Remain positive. Remain positive. Yeah, until you come into the situation. Do you. But do you with a happy heart. Do you without negativity. You know. Make your coin. Take care of yourself. Take care of your feelings, your, you, you know, your priorities. Focus on Capricorn, but do it in a positive mind. Remain positive, Capricorn. And I know how Capricorns can be, you know, I'm, I'm sorry, Capricorn, but you guys can be a little negative. Maybe because your card is depicted by the devil. But I don't see the devil as a bad card neither. And some do. But I feel like Capricorn, you know, sometimes you can get into that negative state. And I need you to be positive. Be positive. Meditate. Find happy ground. And I feel like in doing that, you're going to also be improving your health, Capricorn. You're going to be improving the way you feel about yourself. Um... Maybe with all this bad energy and stuff, you're not feeling well. You're just, you know, not at your best. But I feel like with turning yourself to a more positive energy, it's going to improve your health. It's going to make you feel much better about, you know, healing and um, the things about you. Okay, and... We have compromise. Capricorn, what do you need to compromise? Take a focus on that. What in your life do you need to compromise? What is going on that, you know, you need to loosen up on? You need to just let go and go with the flow um, about in your life. But Capricorn, I feel like all of this is going to transpire within the next few weeks. I feel like you're going to definitely see some changes. You're definitely going to feel the effects of whatever changes that you're making, whatever changes that you're going through. I feel like you're going to feel the effects. And it's it, you're going to be able to see them within the next couple weeks.
And if you have, let's see. You know what? I'm going to take one more because I'm just feeling like it's. Okay, Capricorn, get more information. Get more information about opportunity, about change, about healing, about whatever it is that um, you're questioning right now. That's this hermit energy. Getting more information, looking within yourself. That's also the moon. Looking within yourself to get answers, to get guidance. Look towards your angels for protection. Okay, let's get actually get an angel card. See what the angels have to say. To Capricorn. What is the angel advice for Capricorn? Okay, we have Aurora. You are flying high right now, which may threaten others, but don't descend because others will soon become inspired by your example okay so yes stay uplifted stay uplifted and when you're uplifted Capricorn you uplift others you also have Archangel Archangel Gabriel you have an important life purpose involving communication in the arts don't allow insecurities to hold you back I will help you so you may have some sort of job where you're, you know, you're constantly communicating or you are kind of creative, you're a creative mind. Maybe you're into social media, maybe you're a um, web designer or um, social influencer, but I, I feel like you're able to communicate. You're able to easily influence others. I feel like that's the reason why it says if you have a positive mind, that's going to influence others to follow suit. Um, because you're, you're being positive yourself. You're kind of setting that aura of positivity. And it's like coming off of you and on to others I hope that makes sense but yeah that's that's how I feel about it Capricorn okay Capricorn this is your reading if this reading resonates please like and subscribe hit the bell so that you don't miss any uploads and make sure to Take a look at your sun, moon, and rising for more clarity. Capricorn, many blessings to you. Happy New Year. Love and light.